bungee jumping, which I think is crazy. So the bungee cord snaps. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It went black um, straight away, and I felt like I'd been slapped all over. She's in the water! Slapped all over? How far okay, was that so, fall? So that girl fell 364 meters, which is about four football field legs, about 1,200, square, 1200 feet. That's an outrageous amount of distance to fall. And she fell into a river that is renowned for being infested with crocodiles. And she felt like she got slapped, that's it? Yeah, somehow her legs were bound and she fell into the river. Then she somehow unbound herself, swam to shore, and uh, when people somehow got down there, they flipped her on her back, but her lungs were filled with water. So she had the presence of mind to flip to her stomach and cough out all the bl blood and water from her lungs. And she survived. She's amazing. She's amazing. Now, this is a, the bridge that connects Zambia and Zimbabwe. And they have about 50,000 tourists there every single year. And they've had approximately 500,000 jumps. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time they know of where the cord snapped. All and, right, look, um, it, it, yeah. a couple of thoughts here. Number one, uh, I uh, wouldn't bungee jump, period. Now, I know a lot of people say, oh, you're lame. Oh, it's so much fun. What could happen? Here's what could happen. It could snap, right? And the thing is, think about it this way, right? Are there errors that people do in their regular lives? Like you're working in an office, somebody screws up all the time, right? All the time. You think that they're never going to screw up how, that bungee cord? No, they're going to screw it up sometime, right? The question is, is it your time or not? Now, if you make a small error at work, oh my God, you got to do the photocopies again. You make an error there and you're done, which is, it's unbelievable she didn't die in this case. Then somebody comes to me and says, hey, how would you like to do bungee cord jumping? In a bridge that separates Zambia and Zimbabwe, <laughs> the chance of me doing that is way less than zero. Yeah, it's terrible because they had to take her to a hospital in South Africa because <laughs> Zimbabwe and Zambia, they don't have the facilities to treat her. They're like, yeah, what could go wrong? Uh, if you, there's no hospital in this country that we can take you to, and the river is full of crocodiles, and you're falling four football fields. Yeah, and we think we got the bungee cord right. No way, man. Not under any conditions would I have done that jump. Look, Steve and I went hiking once with a group of our friends. We go every year to a manly trip, okay, where we go to different uh, places throughout the country, Kentucky, West Virginia, Utah, New Mexico, etc. And uh, we were in, I think it was Zion National, Zion National Park, Park. In, in Utah, and we're doing this manly climb up the mountain. So we went to, on this place called Angel's Landing. We first hiked to the top of the mountain, and then from there, you got to hike an additional little precipice with massive falls on either side. You gotta hold those stupid chains and it's cold, the wind is blowing. Look how narrow that is to go out to the top. And there are 10 of us and five of us said, let's go to the very edge. And the, and the other five said, screw this. We're going back to the lodge and getting some dessert and hot chocolate. And the funny thing is it broke down very easily between guys who are married and had kids and guys who were not, except for Jenk who came with the rest of us who had kids. Would we have been fine? Yes. Uh, but I'm a bit of a klutz. W would I have had, uh, what, 2% chance of accidentally slipping and then dying? Yeah. Why would I take a 2% chance for a slightly better view? That's crazy. It's not even a better view. It's just the same view, but from over there instead of over here. Right. It's to prove your manliness, to be like, oh, yeah, I went to the very top. Oh, you guys didn't go to the top. You went out and got hot chocolate. Like, yeah, damn straight I got hot chocolate. I don't have anything to prove. We wouldn't even take that small chance. You think we're going to do bungee cord jumping between Zambia and Zimbabwe? No. No I way. don't think so.